Hey everyone, good morning and happy New Year's. Uh, Jen and I are out in the Olympic Peninsula in the uh, Buckhorn Wilderness and today we're going to be hiking the Grey Wolf Trail. Jen, why don't you tell us about the Grey Wolf Trail? <laughs> the Grey Wolf Trail is about 8.4 miles round trip, mm -hmm. um, 800 feet or so of elevation gain. It's pretty much a flat trail that follows along a nice river, which is apparently um, one of the nicest river walks this side of the Olympics. Awesome. So we're deciding to do a river walk today because there's been a lot of snowfall and we don't want to get into any avalanche prone areas so we chose this nice little rambling river um, it is 22 degrees out we do have gloves and uh, we'll be spiking it up but no need for snowshoes this time so all right let's get moving and warm up here let's do it all right So luckily the trail is pretty visible here. It is a little hard and icy in places. Um, that's just solid ground though, frozen solid ground. Uh, we're gonna keep going without spikes for a little bit longer, but if the need arises, we're gonna put them on. Right, Jen? Right, sooner rather than later, All right. perhaps. <laughs> it is beautiful out here though. So about one point whatever miles into the trail, we go to the Cat Creek Loop. Uh, supposedly this is the one you should do, it's not to be missed, so I'm going to add a little bit more to the hike. Uh, so we're going to head on down. It's easily marked, as I said. So uh, let's go see if we can't see this river. Yep, Jen, Jen's ready. Did you find your geocache? I did not find my geocache. Oh, that's, that's a shame. Mm, DNF. DNF, yeah, and to add insult to injury, I also dropped my water bottle into the creek because I was bending over to look under a log. So then I had to climb down the hill, root around in the ferns and water to try to find my bottle. Uh, I wish I could have been there to see that. You would have laughed. I'm glad uh, you weren't. Yeah. All right, so we're back up here onto the Gray Wolf Trail. Um, we're probably about a third of the way through the hike. Uh, so far, it's really nice. Easy to define trail. And uh, let's get continue on. We haven't seen the river yet. Hopefully soon. So after you see the sign entering the Buckhorn Wilderness, there's a couple of little spur trails and this one leads you down to the river. So here's our first look at the uh, Gray Wolf River. This area looks like a designated campsite. Um, there's a fire over there. There's some logs that are positioned around the fireplace and obviously easy access to the river for water. So we're going to continue on the main trail and see if we can't get alongside the river.
So a little over halfway through the hike, we cut off the river and go back into the forest a bit. And uh, here's what you can see, there's a little bit of gain. This is probably all of the 800 at once here. But uh, we gotta get over this creek ravine and then we'll be back to uh, the river. Jen, what? what mountain is that? According to this app that I have, we have Maynard Peak over here behind a tree. And over here, we have Baldy, which I assume is a big one, poking out and treeless on its summit. And uh, Grey Wolf Mountain. Fogging. I'm fogging up. So as you saw, the river is just to the left of us. Uh, we dropped down some switchbacks and uh, we're coming up on it. So hopefully the last bit of this trail will run along the river. Uh, it would be nice. Um, I was hoping for a little bit more river. Uh, what I did see of it, it looks nice. So uh, let's see if um, this last little bit here can't uh, show us some more river. Jen, what's that? Pillow basalt. My god, Jen. What is that? That? Nick, that's a pillow basalt. Is that pillow basalt? That is pillow basalt. Oh my gosh, it's pillow basalt. Jen, why don't you tell us about pillow basalt? Right, yes, pillow basalt. So pillow basalt forms when lava is extruded underwater and the even temperature of the water cools the basalt into a round nodule, I guess. So you're saying at one time, this was a volcanic formation that was formed under the oceanic. Yeah. At one time, this was all underwater, and all of that. So here's a big piece of what happens when that lava comes in and gets cooled by the water. It just keeps pushing out. You've got like there's one, another pushes out behind it and comes out like that, and you end up with these huge bubbles, bubbles of rock. All right, so that's Pillow Basalt along the Gray Wolf River. We're gonna continue on the trail here, but uh, first I gotta turn this camera off so I don't slip on any of these rocks. What is it? I'm just watching the river.
All right, so we're practically four miles in, and uh, you would think this is the end, but it's not. It's just a little sketchy, um, but the trail does continue. So we made it to the little decrepit bridge. Um, almost made it to the little decrepit bridge. Well, I thought for that devil's club. All right, let's gather ourselves and cross this puppy. <laughs> you were playing with fire there, or playing with ice. I was, uh... You were cold. I was pretty confident about that section. That's the only reason I did that. Okay. <laughs> So here's the third campsite um, along the river. This one's kind of nice. If I were to camp here, uh, this would probably be it. But it's still right along the trail here. So you'll get some uh, looky loos. Um, yeah. There's a nice little hidden spot down here to camp. And the river bends around. Place for fire. Uh, let's continue on. Well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> we basically, from that campsite up to here, two to three switchbacks, and uh, now we're once again overlooking Gray Wolf River. Couple steep spots. Like a pro. That steep part you just saw there is the trail, and then it leads through a bunch of stuff here that looks like it just hasn't been maintained. But I see footprints, so we're gonna continue on. It's hard. It's icy. And, uh, but it keeps going on, so we will as well. <sighs> well, shortly after the camp, the trail really jacks up. And uh, this is obviously the point where the old bridge blew out. Um, we tried scrambling up. There's a scramble trail. We don't know where it goes. It's all icy. Uh, <laughs> It's getting a little dangerous. Jen put her spikes on, um, but again, this is the turnaround point. So we're going to head back down to camp, have some food and uh, head back in. It took us uh, two hours to get here. This is a little over 4.2 miles. Um, not a bad little hike. What did you think about it, Jen? All right. The river parts are better than the, uh, the forest parts. Yeah, the forest parts are they're OK. It's a little bit longer than I would have liked, um, but the river parts are beautiful. I shot a lot of that in there, so hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed that. I'm just going to let that kind of roll when we play this back. But again, thanks for uh, watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. And stay tuned for another great hike out here in the beautiful Pacific Northwest. See you.